student at home. My name is Phoebe Sukayayi, the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Education, Kaduna State. Welcome to our program, radio television program, e-learning. During this period of staying at home because of corona virus, it is expected that we will we'll be able to reach out to you so that we'll be able to understand that learning has no stopping space. Because of this program, throughout this period, we will be reaching out to you using all our various subjects to ensure that you learn something within this period. Bearing in mind that immediately after this crisis, you will be launching into writing your exams. We want you to come out with good grades, and therefore it is expected that you pay absolute attention. Your teachers will always be on air, pay attention, get down all your questions where you have gray areas and reach out to them based on your various subjects. Your teachers on air will give you their names, their telephone numbers that you can always reach out to them and ask the various questions that you need clarifications. So that subsequently, you will be able to get clarity on where you have problems. Kaduna State Government, under the able leadership of Malam Ahmed El Rufai, is doing everything possible to ensure that our students continue with their lessons no matter the circumstances. On this, I will request all of you and your parents, your guidance, your neighbors, your friends to pay attention to all the various segments that will be rolling out to you through these programs. Thank you very much and happy viewing. All right, um, my name is uh, Mande Bokwe. I'm here to present mathematics as a subject. And under mathematics, we'll be dealing with a topic called statistics. From the definition, as we can see, statistics could be defined as the collection, organization, analysis, interpretation and presenta presentation of data. Statistics is divided into two branches. They are descriptive statistics, inferential statistics. We are going to learn about descriptive statistics which includes the following one, measures of central tendency, two, Measures of dispersion. The measures of central tendencies are A, the mean, B, median, and C, the mode. By definition, mean is the sum of a given set of numbers divided by the number of items. It is also known as the average. While median is the middle term in any given set of numbers. After arranging the numbers in order of size, that is from ascending or descending order, in case the number of occurrence is even, the median is the average of the two middle numbers. And then mode is the number with the highest frequency, that is, the number which occur must. Now let's cite example and see how we can be able to justify the definition above. Example one, calculate the mean, median, and the mode of each of the following set of numbers. Number one, we have three, two, one, three, four, five, and three. Question number two, we have five, 
10, 8, 7, 12, and 12. We have the solution. We always arrange the numbers in ascending or descending order. So we have to arrange the numbers starting from the smallest. So we have 1, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, then 5. Now mean with a symbol S bar is the sum of numbers divided by number of items. By this, we now have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 again plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 divided by 7. When you sum the numerator, you'll be having 21 divided by the denominator, which is 7. And the final result is 21 divided by 7. You'll be having 3 as the answer. Now, our median from the definition we are having seventh term, and if you arrange them, you have the first, second, and third. The fourth term will be the median. And you observe the fourth term there is three. So three is our median. Then C, the mode, the number that occur most. That is the number with highest frequency, which is three. Now let's look at example two. We have numbers given as 5, 7, 8, 10, 12, 12, which has been arranged. Now, the mean, which is in bracket S bar, is a symbol for the mean, will be the sum of numbers divided by number of items. By summing them up, we have 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 plus 12 divided by 6, because the items there are 6. If you sum the numerator, you'll be having 54, divided by 6. And our final answer will be 9. Now we move to median, because the number of occurrence is even. The median is the average of the two middle terms, divided by 2. And 8 plus 10, you have 18. And 18 divided by 2 will be numerically equals to 9. And then we have C, the mod, from the appearance of the numbers, 12 have the highest frequency. So it is the mod because it occurs must. Then the next example would involve tabular form, data given in table. And most of these data are wide inclined. We have the table below gives the distribution of marks obtained by number of students in a mathematics test. We have the marks, which is as certain as our scores, X, and then we have the frequency as the F. Three appear two times, four appear one, five appear four times, six appear two times, and then seven appear one time. Then we are expected to calculate the Roman figure 1 mean, Roman figure 2 median, and Roman figure 3 mode of the distribution. Now, problems given in table are expected to be tabulated in a tabular form. So we have our scores as S, and we have our frequencies as F, and we have a column fx, the product of frequencies and the schools. So the first row, 3 multiplying 2, you will get 6 as your answer. Next will be 4 multiplying 1, and it will be 4 as our answer. Next, we will be having 5 times 4, which will give us 20. The next We'll be having 6 multiplying 2, and the result is 12. Finally, we'll have the next, which is 7, multiplying 1, and it is 7. That symbol is called sigma, and it is summation. Summation means the sum of frequencies and the sum of all the product of frequencies and the score. So sum of frequencies, as you can see, is 10. 
Then the product of frequencies and the scores give us their sum as 49. Now our mean is extracted from the formula. We have our solution as the mean, which is summation fx over summation f. So we have the scores as 49, then divided by 10. Because the sum of the frequencies there you can see is 10, while uh, the sum of the product of frequencies and the score is 49. So if you divide 49 by 10, you'll be having 4.9. And that gives us our mean. Next, we have the median, which is the middle term. And since the numbers occur even, and they are 10 as a sum of frequencies, the median will be the fifth term plus the sixth term divided by 2. And uh, from our table, the fifth term is number 5, while the sixth term is equally number 5. And so 5 plus 5 gives us 10 divided by 2. So our median in this case will give us 5. Now let's move to C as our mod. From the definition, it's clearly spelled out that mod is the number that occur most. Rather, mod is the number with the highest frequency. So if you browse through the table, you realize that the number five has the highest frequencies. Therefore, five is our mod because it has the highest frequency. That is, it occurs most. Then example three, as we proceed, the table below shows the marks scored by a group of 32 students in the Fordham and Matthews test. The scores, as you can see, are spelled out. We have our marks as x1, the frequency is two, two, our frequency is 3, 3, our frequency is 4, 4, our frequency is equally 4, 5, our frequency there is equally 4, 6, go ahead, is 4 as a frequency, 7, frequency is 5, score 8, the frequency is 3, mark number 9, the frequency is 2, and the mark 10, the frequency is 1. We are expected to find the Roman figure one, the mean. Roman figure two, the median. Roman figure three, more of the max. B, B, the percentage of students who scored at least at max. The percentage of students who scored at least at max. We have the table. The scores as S and our frequencies as F. F of X is the product of frequency and the scores. So one multiplied by two, the result is two. Two multiplied by three, as you can see, the result is six. Three multiplied by four, the result is 12. Four multiplied by four, the result is 16. Five multiplied by four, the result is 20 and so on and so forth. If you proceed to the last number, 10 multiplying one, you get 10. So the sum of frequencies from two to one, if you sum them up, the result is 32. The summation of frequencies and the scores, we have two plus six plus 12 plus 16 plus 20 plus 24, plus 35, plus 24 again, plus 18, and plus 10. If you add them all, you have 167. Now, moving ahead, as we can see, the formula for the mean, S bar in bracket, is summation Fx divided by summation f. And from our table, 
you can deduce that the summation of fx is 167, while the summation of frequencies is 32. So 167 divided by 32 will eventually give us 5.21875 as our final answer. Now move to median. Our median discourse, discourse, we are totally 32 as a summation of frequency. And then 32 divided by 2, you have 16, which is halfway. So the 16th term plus the 17th term gives the median. So you add them divided by 2. And the number that falls as the 16th term is 5. The 17th term is 5. So 5 plus 5 is giving us 10 divided by 2. Because if you add the two middle numbers, you divide by 2. And the result will not give us 5. 10 divided by 2, the answer is 5. Now moving to Roman figure 3, we are expected to find the mod. And the mod from the definition is the number with highest frequency. And the number with the highest frequency in the table is number 7. And in this case, our 7 is the mod. Then B, percentage of students who scored at least 8 marks. When we say at least is eight and above. So the number of students who score at least, if you go to the table, if you look at the table very well, score number eight appears three times, score number nine appears one time, while score, uh, as score number nine appears two times, score number ten appears one. So starting from 8, because it was stated that it is at least 8. So you have 3 plus 2 plus 1, giving us 6. So because it is percentage, we now have the sum of the three numbers from 8 above, which is 6, divided by the sum of the frequencies, which is 32, then multiplying by 100%. And if you multiply 6 by 100, you have 600 divided by 32, and your result will be 18.75%. That gives us the percentage of students who score at least 8 marks from the test. Now, for the sake of time, viewers and listeners, I wish to pause for now. And then I join the lesson to the next segment due to time factor. But subsequently, as we have time for the next segment, we'll be able to digest the lesson thoroughly. Thank you for listening. <laughs>